in the name of Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall you welcome to another spirit filled message on christocentric message if you're new to this channel i would entreat you to hit on that subscribe button and then to like this video as well i would want you to share this message across because we believe that as this message is coming forth it's going to bless you your graces are going to be imparted onto you and then god is going to visit your home thank you for watching stay blessed so the word of God sponsors transformation but there are many other things that the word of God does for instance in Ezekiel chapter 2 from verse 1 and 2 he said son of man stand up upon your feet and he did not have the engracing the energizing of the spirit to stand verse 2 says and the spirit entered me it was not an information that entered him it was an empowerment and it set me upon my feet hallelujah the Bible says in Habakkuk chapter 3, when you read Habakkuk chapter 3, if we can read 3 and 4, I wish we could see it in Amplified. Habakkuk chapter 3 from verse 3 and 4. The Bible talks about God coming and speaking from Mount Teman. Okay, I'll turn back or let me just use my, while we wait for the media to help us. The point is verse 4. Let me have your attention. Amplified says... The light that proceeded from his hand, it says, in that sun-like splendor is the hiding place of his power. So the power of God is hidden in his light. Hallelujah. And I have told you that I think the last time I was here or maybe listening to me in any of my teachings, I've said it and it bears repeating that the anointing of the Holy Spirit does not have any assignment except to validate and to honor the speakings of God. That means if the word of God has not gone forth, the anointing remains in it. The assignment, the singular assignment of the word of God is to give credence and validity to the word of God. So if the word of God does not proceed, the, the anointing does not have an assignment. The Bible says, and the Lord walking with them confirming the word hallelujah so when god's word comes it is because he also has in mind that the engracing that follows that word to make for performance is also released i want to teach along the line of um, the theme very briefly and very prophetically as a ministry god gave us this same prophetic word it's also a year of open doors and so I have taken a bit of time to study and honestly speaking quite extensively on the concept of open doors um, for my own benefit and then to be able to teach my people and so I was excited when I saw the topic because I hope to be sharing a few things that I trust by the grace of God would profit us in addition to all that pastor has turned from this altar hallelujah matthew chapter 7 please i'll read from verse 7 8 matthew chapter 7 from verse 7 and 8 jesus is teaching and he he's teaching on the matters of the kingdom the whole extended story would start from the beatitudes where he was teaching them on the matters of the kingdom and when we get to matthew chapter 7 he said ask and it shall be given unto you he says seek and you shall find then he says knock and the door shall be opened unto you is that true the next verse says for everyone so when it has to do with the possibility of open doors it is for everyone it says for everyone that asketh receiveth is that true everyone who seeks finds and to him that knocks he says it shall be open unto you hallelujah um let me just give a little background uh, i took a little extra from 
my teaching with my people and i thought it was important to just set this in place and then i'll just touch on a few things i wrote here and i want you to please listen and if possible write that doors are primarily authorized systems for access when you talk about doors primarily the assignment of a door is to give access the assignment of a door doors are authorized systems for access access to opportunities access to realms access to dimensions hallelujah i also wrote here that doors control motion doors control movement doors control motion if i desire to walk out to the outside of this this uh, beautiful tent i will need the access of that door that means if that door remains closed it can impede and even limit and even stagnate my motion so doors control movement they control motion hallelujah now doors i wrote here can also mean hindrances limitations and restrictions doors are not just limited to access points they could also mean hindrances limitations and restrictions it's very important we get this foundation let me recap very quickly i said that doors are authorized systems for access and that doors control movement and motion then i said that doors can be hindrances they can be limitations and they can be restrictions according to scripture and by the intelligence of technology we know that doors can be opened and doors can close this is a very powerful information doors can be opened and doors can close that means if you see a door that is closed all hope is not lost under a certain condition that door can be open are we together doors can open and doors can close very important information i want you to get now doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities and doors can be spirits doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities and doors can be spirit for instance jesus christ himself jesus called himself the door so doors can be circumstances doors can be human entities and doors can be spirits are we together now i said something very interesting and i wrote it here and i want you to listen all doors are usually closed by default all doors are usually closed in fact the closing and the sealing of a door is usually a representation of authenticity when you buy something it usually comes closed or sealed as proof that it is authentic is that true and then the secret or the technology of opening it is revealed to you or instinctively you find a way of opening it like a perfume or whatever it is if you buy a product a beverage or whatever and you find it opened by default it reveals to you that it may have been compromised are we still together so it is not unusual to meet closed doors they only reveal to you that you are stepping into a virgin dimension a dimension you have never treaded before job said there is a path which no fowl has seen that the whelps of the lion has not trodden there but it does not mean because you saw it close you must leave it closed i told you that all doors can be open not on every condition there are certain conditions and my assignment is to reveal to you the spirit the conditions that can cause closed doors to be open are we learning already now let me say a few things that i wrote here again about closed doors closed doors are not all a disadvantage please you must listen very carefully closed doors are not all a disadvantage for instance doors are closed to restrict or to manage access until permission is granted there are times that closed doors are an advantage they are closed to restrict 
or to manage access if doors were always open it will lead to abuse of access so there are times that doors are closed are we learning now doors can be closed and to manage or to restrict access until permission is granted close or sealed doors i wrote here can increase the value of a product so closed doors can also increase value are we learning i wrote here again that doors can protect and preserve for instance the door of your car for instance the door of your house for instance the door to your safe doors can protect and preserve when closed so in dealing with the concept of open doors we must manage our understanding to not generically frown at all closed doors because god also closes doors are we together now and he closes doors as an act of his mercy he closes doors to preserve for instance if the door of elizabeth's womb was opened too early john would have been old and weary before the arrival of jesus so that door had to be closed to match the timing of the arrival of jesus so that whilst john was agile and ready he would be able to ordain jesus because that was his assignment so you would call it barrenness but then it was closed by the very hand of god and it caused that john was only six months older than jesus is someone learning so in dealing with the concept of doors especially open doors we must be able to manage our understanding so that we do not interpret all closed doors as demonic even though um what we are dealing with tonight is the concept of open doors now i wrote something here that i want you to listen very carefully When you stand in front of a closed door, the first thing you need is discernment. Not the ability to open, discernment. To discern who is behind the closing of that door. Are we together? Because the anointing was only designed to correct anything that is antichrist. The anointing does not fight the will of God. The assignment of the anointing is to walk in sync and to establish the will of God. So it is important that when you stand before a closed door, your first assignment is discernment. So that you know who is behind that closed door now for tonight we are dealing with closed doors that should open for the sake of your advancement your rising and your forward movement are we together now so all my discourse on closed doors from this point i would assume that you now understand the context of open doors are we together now this is very important because you see in church it's important that believers are mentored methodically and their understanding is holistic if not when you leave you will be surprised that you will be fighting something that god designed for your good you will be forcing doors and commanding the anointing to fight the will of god and you will be surprised that the closing of that door was to your advantage are we together now so doors can open and doors can close someone's closed door is open now in the name of jesus christ take note of the foundation that i laid that does control motion it is amazing listen to me did you know that as powerful as an individual can be it can you can even be the owner of a house but if the door is closed it can keep you outside without apology you can stand helpless in front of that door you are the owner no argument it is your house no argument but simply because you do not sustain the intelligence maybe you lost the key to open the house you can stand outside and sometimes you may have to destroy the whole door There are forces in this kingdom that control open doors. This is where I want you to please lend me your attention. Doors do not open to sentiments. Doors are not, not an issue of prejudices and biases. There is, 
there are exact forces in the spirit that have been allocated and allotted for the opening of doors that means if you find doors now you understand access to realms access to dimensions the light that doors midwife realms now you see in architecture when you construct a house you see the 3d the 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 the, the, the 3d construction or the simulation of a house you would see that the rooms are separated by doors is that true so that between the living room and the kitchen the restroom and the bedrooms there are doors is that true you can be in house and not maximize your stay there because only one door is open out of the five or six that should open are we together just because you are comfortably seated in the living room does not mean that you are maximizing your experience within that house if you are hungry and the door to the kitchen is closed and still live miserable having the same experience as one who is outside the house no wonder the bible says an heir for as long as he's a child he said he differed not from a slave that means the reality of their experience will be consistent as one who is not even saved hallelujah praise the name of the lord so there are forces we are here tonight to access by light the forces that are responsible for opening doors because i sense in my spirit that for someone you are long overdue as far as certain doors opening and you see your moving forward is consistent with scripture for it says the path of the just not everybody's path but the path of the just it says is as a shining light that shines ever brighter onto the perfect day that means there is no limitation for the believer in christ we sustain an advantage that grants us ever increasing progress your yesterday should never be better than your today and your tomorrow based on god's design that means all that I see in you today should not be all that I will see. It should be layer after layer. Is that true? May that be your testimony in the name of Jesus Christ. That means by year four, when we come to the fourth church, we should see another layer of glory, another layer of excellence. It is true. He said there are bodies terrestrial and there are bodies celestial that even among the stars one differed from another not in size in glory in glory there is the glory that excels are we together now so we're discussing the forces that control open doors and i wrote a few because i want us to have some time to pray i'll run through a few that i have listed here and please i want you to pay attention because the spirit of god is going to be speaking to you and you must be discerning enough to receive that which is yours are we together now jacob in chapter 28 the bible says he lay down in laws and he slept and whilst he slept he had a vision and there was a ladder that connected the heavens and the earth angels ascending and descending but he was not discerning and when he got up he said the lord was in this place and i knew not even though he acknowledged that this was the gate of heaven may that not be your experience you will be discerning and you will receive that which is yours in the name of jesus so there are forces that control the opening and the closing of doors when doors are closed they do not close themselves they are closed as a result of certain forces when doors are open they do not open of themselves they are engaged by the use of these forces now generally speaking i'm not taking it from that dimension but according to scripture classically speaking doors open based on um three agencies number one doors open by the use of correct keys this is the first way we open doors the use of the right key the bible clearly tells us that we can have access to what he calls the keys of the kingdom and that by these keys we can use to open doors even from a natural sense when you can have a bunch of keys 
and just because you have keys it does not mean it to open every door you have to search for the right key and then to know how to operate that key correctly there are keys that you will turn twice three times you may turn only once and the door you are using the right key and yet the door does not open number two the bible teaches us that the second way that doors open classically speaking is by knocking it says when you knock the door will open and then number three the bible teaches us that the third way that doors can open is through the use of force in this case you are not just trying to turn the knob you can bring down the door completely are we together now but for the sake of our discussion tonight i want to organize a few things so that i can structure my discourse number one the first force that is responsible that controls open doors i wrote here is the force of light please write it down i'm giving you four of them tonight the first force that is responsible that controls the opening of doors is the force of light you can put in bracket knowledge please write and look up light in this kingdom is the master of dominion dominion in the kingdom is predicated upon the extent of illumination that you have in john chapter 1 and verse 5 the bible says the light shineth in darkness am i right on that it says and the darkness comprehended it not so we rise in this kingdom based on the kind and the quality of light that we have access to isaiah chapter 60 and verse 1 says arise it says shine for your light is come and the glory of the lord is risen upon you i will always like to quote this using amplified it says arise from the depression and the prostration that circumstances have kept you it says rise to a new life it takes more than a willing heart it takes more than a good intention to rise you rise by light let me show you a scripture in genesis chapter 19 genesis 19 please give us from verse 10 and 11 this was the story of lot in sodom and gomorrah remember judgment had been pronounced over sodom and gomorrah but abraham now negotiated with god for the exemption of his cousin lot and the family are we together now two angels come to secure that deal and the moment they appeared and the people in the land saw them they desired to have the men to themselves and lord went as far as saying listen i have two young daughters i can give them to you do as you please but honor these messengers and the people said no we desire this angel so when we get to verse 10 now the angels were angry and the bible says the men put forth their hand and they pulled lot into the house watch this and shot who shot the door not the devil the angels shot the door verse 11 now watch what happened and they smote the men that were at the door of the house with another word darkness they were standing in front of the door but the angels knew that provided there was light i hope you know light is the union between sight is the union between your eyes and light not your eyes alone your eyes in darkness is equal to blindness you can have a healthy eye but if you are in a room that is pitch black you are still you are still uh, blind so it is not a healthy eye that equals sight it is a union of a healthy eyes and light watch what the angel did to limit these people's access to the door the force of light he struck them with blindness both small and great watch this the bible says so that they wearied themselves to find the door they were right in front of a door but they could not open it because of the bankruptcy of light it is amazing how you can be close to prophecy you can be close to your testimony but because you have not sustained the requisite dimension of light you can stand in front of a door that has the potential to be opened for many years is someone learning the force of light there are two reasons according to 
joy jesus wept the first was in john chapter 11 and verse 35 he wept when he stood in front of lazarus's tomb the bible says jesus wept and the disciples responded and they said oh how he loved him so he wept as a an expression of compassion towards lazarus the second time jesus would weep was over the ignorance of the people he looked towards jerusalem and he began to weep and he said oh jerusalem jerusalem if you had known even in this your time the things that pertain unto your peace he says but now they are hidden from your eyes jesus wept over the ignorance of the people are we still together now yes listen there is no possibility for advancement, constructive advancement for the believer who remains in darkness. In fact, the assignment of the God of this world is to blind the minds of God's people. He stops you from walking in the reality of the Zoe experience by blinding your mind. Ephesians 4 and verse 18. How their understanding darkened the bible says being alienated from the life of god through the ignorance so there is a relationship between ignorance and darkness you must contend for light light talks about the revelation knowledge of the word of god paul was praying over the church in ephesus ephesians chapter 1 when you begin to read from verse 15 down to 19 he was praying he said when i heard of your faith in the lord jesus christ and your love for the saints the next verse says that i cease not to give thanks for you making mention of you in my prayers what's the content of the prayer that the god of our lord jesus christ the father of glory may give unto you the spirit of wisdom and revelation in the knowledge of him the next verse says the eyes of your understanding being enlightened amplified says flooded with light flooded with light someone say light one more time say light so the first force that controls the possibility for open doors in the life of the believer is the force of light ignorance is dangerous ignorance can alienate you from the potential of the life of god that you already have being saved being born again does not mean you will manifest the reality of the life that is in christ walking in the reality of the zoe life i repeat is knowledge dependent knowledge dependent knowledge dependent knowledge dependent grace and peace he says be multiplied unto you through the knowledge not through assumption when god wants to show mercy upon a man he grants you access accelerated access to light hallelujah are we learning number two very quickly for sake of time the second force that is responsible for the opening of closed doors is the force of prayer the force of prayer please give us acts chapter 12 from two very interesting rendition the bible says now about that time herod the king stretched forth his hand to vex certain of the church and he killed james the brother of john with the sword verse 3 it says and because he saw that it pleased the jews he proceeded further this is a powerful revelation every time the devil attacks you and you do not respond he will proceed further he tested one person and watched the reaction when he saw that there was no reaction the bible said he proceeded touched your health a bit and watched the reaction you were careless and just made it a sociological issue and he proceeded further he proceeded further to take peter also then were the days of the unliving bread and when he had apprehended him watch this he put him in prison number one and then delivered him to four quaternions of soldiers can you imagine to keep him intending after easter to bring him forth to the people hallelujah peter was kept in prison let's read the remaining part one to read but prayer was made without season of the church unto god for him the church said no we kept quiet 
and James just went like that this time around we understand we may not have the keys to the prison we may not have influence to convince Herod but there is a technology in the spirit that right from where you are it can open doors miles and kilometers away the Bible says but prayer was made without ceasing of the church unto God for him what happened six watch what began to happen now in response to prayer when Herod would have brought him forth the same night Peter was sleeping between two soldiers bound with two chains and the keepers before the door that kept the prison behold the angel of the Lord came unto him that means that angel could still come in the time of James the angel was helpless because the prayer of the saints that would give him entrance to the earth realm was not there. The angel did not just choose to come with Peter. If they kept quiet, Peter would have died like James. And he smote Peter by the side and raised him up saying, Arise up quickly, watch this, and the chains fell off from his hands. And the angel said to him, Guard thyself and bind thy sandals. And so he did and he said unto him cast thy garment and follow me watch open doors now and he went out and followed him and which not that it was true which was done by the angel and thought he was seeing a vision verse 10 it says and when they had passed the first ward or the first door and the second door watch doors opening because people were praying while they were praying doors were opening the bible says they now came to a mysterious door called the iron gate this is the gate that controls influence when that gate is open the only thing you see is the city there are many people who have been locked there are certain doors that have been opened but the door that controls influence is yet to be opened the iron gate that leads to the city there are gates that lead to other doors but there are doors that lead to the city it is not a road that leads to the city there are spiritual doors and if you do not have the technology to open them you will be surprised that you are in a city and yet the city does not acknowledge your presence nor will they place a demand upon the grace of God that is on your life this is true the iron gate that opens to the city is someone learning so prayer is very powerful it is able to open doors Acts chapter 16 from verse 25 the context there was the deliverance of the young damsel who had been plagued with the spirit of divination as a result of that the disciples found themselves in prison and the bible says and at midnight watch this paul and silas it never said they complained it never said they, they blame god we were preaching and found ourselves here complaining will only prolong pain the bible says and at midnight paul and silas prayed say prayed and then they sang praises unto god it was so loud the prisoners heard them next verse suddenly suddenly there was a great earthquake so that the foundation of the prisons were open read the remaining part if you are a christian and immediately how many doors how many doors there is a mystery that can open many doors and there is a mystery that can open all doors when your prayer is combined with praise when in acts listen when it was with James, the Bible does not say they praised. They prayed. So an angel came, took out time to walk him slowly. But this time around, the Bible says they prayed and they praised. And there was an earthquake. We do not see the mention of an angel. But we see that the foundation was shaken and all doors. And all doors opened immediately. So do not be surprised that tomorrow by this time, you return to church and doors doors all doors open financial doors supernatural doors yes sir these are not parables except if you are not a Christian listen the Bible says the things that are written are for time it says they are for our learning so that we through patience and the comfort of Scripture might find hope do you believe this 
that all doors can open that someone can be in church right now whilst you are seated absorbing this mystery soaking in the glory strategic doors can be open open supernaturally all doors open it is not always that you need a key a key is wonderful but there are times that you can leave the keyhole there and remove the door from its foundation so that your children can pass if you use a key sometimes it can be locked behind you again the moment you switch to the prayer mode this is beyond the realm of keys this one is the foundation this spirit of poverty that has recycled across families that will not allow doors to be opened that in the place of prayer a man can hold on to the horns of the altar to pray and praise and pray and praise and pray and praise and the bible says the foundation prayer visits foundation it does not just manage the situation prayer goes to the root of the issues is someone learning one pray in the spirit in one minute the force of prayer rattling the foundation of closed doors swinging all doors open swinging all doors open hallelujah please be seated are we making progress tonight please make a covenant with yourself that tonight's sermon will not just be a nice sermon that you nod your head and say wow get angry in your spirit and whilst you are sitting right now just just i want you to be looking at the various doors whose expiry time has come and whilst you are seated remember what i told you doors can open and doors can close the condition for opening the doors is what i'm handing to you prayer can open doors prayer can open doors. believe me prayer can open doors doors of mediocrity that no one has risen in your family it looks like there are horns according to Zechariah 1 18 it says son of man what seest thou and he said four horns these are the horns that have lifted up themselves against Judah against Israel and against Jerusalem so that no man don't lift up his head you can pray and rattle to that foundation hallelujah when jesus showed up and the disciples were inviting themselves to meet him there was a particular disciple that made a comment and jesus credited to that person and said he was an israelite indeed in whom there was no guile the name of that individual is nathaniel when nathaniel was told to come and meet jesus he inquired you said that man is a nazarene forget it i will not waste my time he said can anything good come out of nazareth don't blame the man find out the nazarenes in the bible and see that they do not have a longevity component to anything whether it is samson or whoever it is there is no longevity if they rise they don't last so nathaniel said before you waste your time there is an antecedence you see that if this man is a nazarene he's a victim of that which is consistent with his ancestry he will not last he will only be a fly by night and die for nothing and so he said can anything good come out of nazareth jesus did not say you are lying he did not know that before jesus would start his ministry he went to the wilderness even though he had been ordained by john he was full of the spirit but no power the bible says he went and he prayed for 40 days 40 nights fasting when he was done he returned in the power of the spirit and his fame spread abroad nazarene or no nazarene you can rewrite the narrative 
prayer gives you the option listen prayer is an equalizer of destinies regardless the disadvantage that has come by reason of your lineage bloodline or ancestry prayer gives you the authorization by god power with god and you negotiate the matters of destiny you don't sit down and allow destiny decides it is woes and give it to you no i must participate in the matters that define my destiny prayer gives me that allowance to represent my interest before the throne of god he said what things soever ye desire mark 11 24 it says when ye pray not when ye discuss when ye pray he said believe that thou receivest them and thou shalt have them this is the confidence the bible says that we have in him that when we ask anything according to his will he heareth us is that in your bible say i will pray shout it say i will pray in the name of jesus i shake away prayerlessness i shake away spiritual laxity the spirit that has planted excuses as far as mastering the art of holding on to the horns of the altar on you rewrite the narratives in your life listen there are people who may not be serious praying because they have the leverage of covenants they come from a family of missionaries whose parents have supported the work of god and before a missionary died he left a prophecy that is still alive roaming around a stubborn child and yet programming good things because covenants don't die they are only changed and rewritten they don't die and then here comes another person you are the first person to break forth and then you become careless and just sit down and don't well it doesn't matter i just know that one day one day go better no that's not the language of a champion listen for someone after this conference you need to take a day out and say i am tired write a list of some doors that must open place them on the ground and travel in the spirit in prayer and praise Jesus drought in your life that even when it is physical rainy season it is still dry season spiritually financially and otherwise I decree and declare let the rain begin to fall let the rain begin to fall let the rain